Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to solve manage on-screen keyboard problem. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we fix this problem here? So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to actually access our settings. So in this case, go ahead and go to your phone here open up settings and from here we need to go to our search bar here because we want we want to make it a lot easier for us in this case what we need to do is just type in keyboard here and from here look for languages and input now in here what we need to do is we need to go to, to the manage keyboard section and from here if you have multiple keyboards that you're currently using make sure to turn that off and only Gboard is currently turned on. Now we also have Google voice typing here you can leave that as is but if you see other boards here make sure to turn that off. Now once you've done that the next thing that we want to do is we want to go back go to current keyboard and make sure it's actually set to Gboard. Now, once you've done that we are now ready to change a few things as well. In this case, we want to go back here and from here go to keyboard, mouse, and trackpad. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to turn off show virtual keyboard option. And from here, let's just go back. Now, once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to click on cancel at the top right here, scroll down a bit, and look for the option that says apps. Now, under apps, what we need to do is we need to click on manage apps. And optionally, you can click on the three dotted icon at the top right of your screen and click on the open system or at least show system services. Because sometimes Gboard will not appear in here. In this case, let's go to the search app section. Just type in Gboard. And from here, open it up. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on four stop, click on OK, click on clear data at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, click on the clear cache option and click on OK. Now from here on, see if that solves your issue. Now if that doesn't solve your issue, click on clear all data again, click on OK and permanently delete all the data and files that is related about Gboard here. Now this would actually reset Gboard so be careful whenever you're deleting all the data here. But once you've done that, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.